Hi everyone. This is Saturday morning and it's pretty early. Uh, I've had about four hours sleep. I just couldn't go back to sleep so I thought I'd come down here. And this came in, I think it was yesterday, yesterday, Friday. May have come in Thursday. I don't remember. And it's not that much stuff, y'all. It's got those um, hoodies. I told you I was going to order more of those. And they're in here, so that's probably the bulk of this. But there are a few craft items in there. So we're going to go ahead and open this and um, see exactly what's in here. Because I don't really remember. There we go. Spread it out. Okay. I hope each and every one of you are having a great Saturday. We were really busy yesterday. We had a lot of running around to do. Uh, had to take Debbie to the doctor to get labs. And we had to go to the grocery store. We wouldn't have been able to eat. Um, and then I made a couple of trips. I didn't really buy anything except for food, uh, which is a biggie. But I, didn't, I wanted to go into Hobby Lobby really bad to pick up some more mixed to mold because I am almost out. But we were running late and I had to pick Dan up from work so I didn't get to make it. Um, those are those hoodies. And uh, I told you I was going to buy more of them, and of course I did. And I wanted to buy ten, but I think they only had six left with um, where I bought them from. Now, they have more expensive ones on there. Uh, but where I got them for, I originally got them for the three uh, prior for a dollar fifty-two, I had to pay a dollar ninety-six for these, so they had gone up about fifty cents. But then there were several of these on there that were like, oh, excuse me, four or five dollars uh, each. So let's see, that's four or five. I hope they send them all to me. Yep, got my six. Um, and I'll show you a picture, because these are going to be given to uh, other people, so I don't really want to open these up, but I will get on my Timu. For those of you that did not see the original haul video where these came from, I will show you a picture of what we're talking about here. I'm just pulling it up, y'all, on my phone. Yeah, now the same place is now three sixty-five from the same place that I bought them. They were a dollar ninety-two, and I'll show you the receipt in a minute. But that's what these are right here. It's that right here. And I'll go back to the receipt to show you what I paid for them. Yeah, see right there? That's what I paid for them. Whoop. I paid a dollar ninety four this time. The last time I paid a dollar fifty two, I think. Um so they keep going up. But that makes a total of nine I have bought, so Okay, and I did buy another t-shirt. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is long sleeve. Yep. And um, this is for me. I am not that perfect Christian. I'm the one that knows I need Jesus. And all day long. That is me in a nutshell. I will never claim perfection at all. And 
I'm I think that's gonna fit me good that looks about right it doesn't look like one of those big oh huge so that's pretty cool right there okay oh, I got this for Ashley yeah I got her one of those hats too but I got her this this looks like Ashley to me and I paid three dollars and I think twenty-two cents for this. But I thought it was cute. See, it's got little braids. I did not know it had a split. What's the split for y'all? Why is it split there? So if you have a ponytail or something, or does it go that way? I don't remember seeing a split there. Okay, I'm going to have to look at the picture again to figure this out. Let me get my phone again. Hopefully it's still on the, uh, the order. That is supposed to be it. Oh, okay. I guess so it can fit. It can get it can fit closer to your head. Yeah, because you can see it. Okay. If I can get actually to model it for us, I'll tell I'll get a picture up, but uh, I can't guarantee that she will do that. These may be bigger than I thought. And remember when I said that I had thought I had ordered. I'm going to go ahead and move this bag. Thought I had ordered uh, one of those fake bone tools where you can get a really good seam when you're dealing with paper. Well, I did. It just hadn't come in yet. These are really good for a lot of things. They're really good for clay, too. And I got two of them. I'm going to put them right in here, not with my paint brushes, but my other tools, so I know where they are. And I also got two more silk screens. This is the wood grain. And those are just little flowers, like it's raining flowers almost. And I think this is called a glue spreader. And this was like, I don't know, 64 cents. It was not much, y'all. It's a little, yeah. And I actually got it to spread paint with uh, on the silk screens and the corners. If I need to get in the corners. And I got two of them. Oh no, this is what I got for the silk screens. Why did I get that? Maybe for glue. These are heavy duty. Okay. Okay, those are sort of bendable, but that, I don't know. But these are cool. 
I like those to put the paint on. And I like the fact that I have four of them, so if I'm using different colors, I don't have to stop. And they are firm enough. Yes, I do like these a lot. <clears throat> and speaking of, no, I think these are just stencils. I don't think these are silk screens. Well, they're calling it a silk screen transfer. Oh, they are. Okay. As soon as I touched it, I knew they were. I think we're probably going to be using that today. And then I got the deer. You know, that looks blue. When I'm looking in the camera right now, that looks blue. And this is green. This is actually green. Wow, the color difference is really strange. Because this is definitely... Like a, a light. So is this. Does that show up blue? Oh, it does. That is not blue. That is more like a... Uh, it's more green than turquoise, but it's still definitely not a blue. Now, this is a blue. Oh, that's showing up bluer than what it is, so... Okay, never mind. Let's get on... Oh, okay, I got two of them. But they're different. Oh, I like those. I'm going to make a sign out of that. And these are faces for snowmen. I mean, how cute are those, okay? Those are adorable. She even got the little hats and the bows. <clears throat> All righty. And now I'm going to have to decide on which one I want to do. And I am coming over here to grab something really quick. You remember this piece that I did? Mm-hmm. Well, we're fixing to finish this piece. But we're also going to finish another piece that I did. This one, which I think I need to sand. This one, I think, is tough. Yeah, this one is good to go. Well, I can stand it, sand it a little bit. So, I'm going to get my mask on while I'm sanding it. This one, because I don't want the sand to... Probably... 
think I've got any gloves. I have not gotten any gloves yet. I just totally forgot to order gloves to, to fit over this. Huh. Do I have a plastic bag down here? Looking for a sandwich bag. I don't want to get sand all over. I mean, this stuff all over. Okay, I'm putting it up over. I'm just using a bag. And I do have my mask on. All that needs. Taking a baby wipe and wiping it off to get. Yeah, and it's smooth now. Okay. Oh, that one needs to be. Oh. Yes, I'm using a makeshift cover. I do not want to get water now yeah there's a little bit finer sandpaper why is it turning okay why is that turning that should not turn it color oh this is crazy y'all And it is, it is turning a color on the, got to figure something else out. That's crazy. 
I know I'm sanding, but it's a little damp, so maybe it won't. Pretty good. So why is that coloring? I need to smooth this down. The more I sanded it before, I need to see look at the color it. I don't want that color coming off on there. smoothing those lines out really good though that's that's cool this is really really fine sandpaper right here okay I'm gonna use it one more time and try to knot it up for a minute. So I want to go ahead and scrub that down really good. And I'm going to use Oh yeah, see that feels really good and really smooth. Okay, I'm going to get some paper towels over here. That's the back, y'all. This is the front. And I do sort of want to bring color out so
And if you can't tell the difference now, go back and look at this before I started sanding it, and you will definitely be able to tell the difference. Okay. See, that worked. I don't care about the edges. I sort of like the fact that they're not as... That's what the front looked like. Oh, I can take this off now. That's what the front looked like before. That's what it looks like after sanding it down. I absolutely love. Now, this is smooth. This is smooth. This is not rigid. That's smooth. Now, this has got some texture in it. That's the back. You can feel the pebbles a little bit, which I'm, I'm good with. And I'm trying to dry it all really good. I'm going to take a baby wipe. Be able to get it's totally dry. Now I have not sealed any of this yet. I probably should seal this before. I do this. I think I'm going to cut this. Now that is your preference, okay? But uh, I think I am going to cut this. Uh, because... I'm trying to make sure. I don't think this thing's straight. Is it cutting it right there? I want it to cut it right there. All the way down. I'm doing it really slowly. Because I want it cut. On that white line. And for some reason. Okay. sort of looking at it as I do this so well, this is really really sharp and if you have one of these, just be careful. Do not put your fingers too close. And no, I did not pay full price for this. I got it at the thrift store. got it at thrift store or Dan brought it home from the dump. I can't remember now which. I 
I am doing this slow because I want to make sure that it's on the light. And I will uh, get a bag put these in. I'm going to go ahead and do this one too because I am not sure which one of these. I've got two pieces. I got to see my little grandbabies on Halloween. Their parents brought them over to trick or treat here. They actually brought them over because I asked them to. I wanted to see them in their costumes. And it had been a while since I saw little Ben and Shelby and Cora Ann. Kyrie was not with them. She was with her own friends. But, and she's getting to that age. But it was so nice being able to see him. I'll just put them back in here for right now after I find out which one I want to use. Let me move that. I'm not going to do the snowman right now because I'm not going to be using that in a second. Okay. And see, it's easier. Now, this is a little wet because of what I did. So, let me... It is bone dry. And I brought it over. Just on the top. I don't think this is wet. We're like that. I 
It is. I'd like to put twine up there, but I do not know where my twine is. And yes, that is irritating for me because I found two things of twine. And I still have not been able to, I bought one and then I found another one and I've still not been able to find it. And I caught myself organizing everything. And I lost my twine. And before I do that, I need to find my twine or whatever it is that I'm going to use. And I don't think these pieces are big enough. I'm going to pause for a minute. Okay, I'm back. And look what I found. Yes. I knew that I had, and while I was gone, you see this over here? This is a mixture of soap and water. So when I get through with this, I can put it right in the soapy water. And I probably need to get a little bit more water in here. I did not have this the last time I did this down here. I do have Don dish soap down here. And so I was able to get that together. I have also went ahead and put uh, the silk screens on. For the, the house, I put family where life begins and love never ends on the house. And I hope I got that straight. Uh, I don't think that's, I don't think that is uh, straight. Yeah, pooped. Thought I had it, and now. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I can see through it enough. I'm going from that. And I am burnishing it because it is somewhat sticky on the back. And I figure, I don't think that's straight either. But you know what? It's going to be what it's going to be. But I know that's not straight. But it's stuck down good. Oh, that's off, isn't it? Let me look at it this way. We're going to leave it alone. I think I'm overthinking it. And I am using Waverly Chalk. This is matte in the color ink, which is basically black. Being a little bit careful 
with the the paint because I do not want to get it on any of the piece where the stencil is not. Okay, we're going to pull this up and hope it does good. Oh, and it did. Okay. And I'm putting it right in this water. So it can clean. And I was not totally straight, but it's good enough. I really like that, actually. Okay. And then I'm going to do this. I'm just pouring a little bit. Let's see if that's not enough. To, to do the whole thing. Oh, and that worked really good too. And it was not straight. Oh well. Good enough. It's a little off. Not much, but a little. I probably should have left it alone. And I'm going to try to dry this really good. It actually is very, very crisp. There's some areas that may look like it's not, but it's where the stone is. I've got to make sure that this is dry really good because I want to put wax on this to seal it. You can hear our heater coming on. Yeah, today was a chilly day. I've got 
our heater set on 68 so if it gets colder than 68 in the house it's going to come on yeah i'm making sure that i've got it all off my hands so i don't smear it i am going to check and see if it is It's got to be totally dry though, because if I start putting wax on this, okay. I wonder if I should put black in the eye. What do you think? Darn. Should have done that after. That's okay. I'm just taking sandpaper trying to get the black. I smudged it off. And it worked. Okay. And yes, I like the black eyes. That little touch of black tied it all together. I'm going to get my wax. I am most definitely going to try to put a glove on my hand. on my band. Okay. Did that go in the water? Oh, poo poo. I was doing so well. I'm going to try to stretch this. <laughs> and I don't know if this is going to work or not. I may have to take my wristband off. But I'm going to try. Because I don't want that wax getting on this. And I know it will because that's... Oh, wow. This is not comfortable. But... It works. It most definitely works. Woohoo! Okay. 
you know, cross your fingers and your toes and everything else you can cross that this does not bleed. I wouldn't be worried about it if it had been on here for a while, but And yes, I do wax the whole thing. I do that to keep it from Oh, that is wonderful. Look at that. It's just as crisp as it can be. Okay. I don't see any black on this. So let's, no, I did not do the eyes. We are going to wait a minute on the eyes and we're just going to sort of put this. much pressure on it but I don't have to have a whole lot of pressure Hold your ears. Getting it down in these ridges. Okay. take this no I'm not gonna take this off yet okay I'll be back in just a minute I'm gonna clean this out you don't need to watch me do that do you uh, no I'll be back when I've got this cleaned up that way I'll give this time a little bit of time to to set up uh, where we can buff it off and I can go ahead and finish this up okay I'm back yeah it didn't take me long maybe five minutes there they are they're clean. Okay. And then I take this and I just sort of buff lightly. And normally you want to leave it on there longer. But 
and it doesn't get shiny but it gives it like a, a, a sheen and I don't know if it's gonna come through it's just a slight I'm not gonna I'm not going to do I'm not let it Can you see the difference? You can feel the difference. Yes, and I may ruin this piece before it's over, but I've got to see if it's uh, sealed. And the only way to do that is to put water on it. I don't want to leave it setting on it. But I should be able to spray water and then dab it off and it not affect So, we're going to do this. I'm going to bring it up so you can see this a little bit. Yep. You see how it's beading up? You see that beading? That's what wax does for this. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, if I'm... Well, I'm just hoping. Let's see. I'm not going to leave it on there. But yes, it did. Okay. Got one more test. See how it's beating? Of course, I'm not going to leave it on there. But that tells me that it's sealed. Okay. This piece is done. That is how I'm going to sell it right there. With the bird. And the other. If anyone is interested in this. This will be it for sale in my Etsy store. Uh, by tomorrow. And the, the link to my Etsy store is in the description. Now this. I have these bows, and I'm thinking about going with the black and white, or maybe the red to give it color. But, that's who, I think we need to go with this. And I'm going to have to get my glue gun. So, I'll go ahead and get my glue gun out and get that turned on and get a glue stick Okay, I may not need it. Okay. Goodness. Okay, normally it should be in there. Okay, it's not. So how am I supposed to find the end to this? There it is, right? Yep. Okay. Now my question is...
I can take this off now. Here we go. The black looks cool. Oh, I think I'm going for the red though. But let's get this. I don't like these as well. I don't like the bows as well. They're too, I don't know. Uh, uh, okay, but my thought. And I am not going to glue anything down yet. I want to see before I do it. Do it really tight too. Okay. I'm going to go up. I have that one. know if I like that many. I don't know if I like it that even. I don't know if I like it at all to be quite honest. Yeah, I think there needs to be some kind of division. Okay, let me just Okay, I think I'd rather have it. Hold on a minute. Yeah. So I can tie it instead of having to glue it all on there. I could tie it right there. Does it have to be even? No. In fact, I think maybe it would look better if it wasn't so even, right? Oh, this goes against every core. Let me try it. <laughs> I so do not want to. Uh... I want it to be even. That's me, even and balanced. But sometimes I know that it that's not the best thing.
Okay, here we go. And yes, there is a reason why I'm doing this. Didn't tie it yet. But I'll tell you what that gorilla uh, glue is really, really sturdy. in a bow. I am not going to tie it in a bow. It can be moved. It's not totally. I'm going to so put a heart right there. Uh, but I don't really have a little heart. Uh, Okay. It needs something right there. Oh. I don't think I've got anything. Oh my, I wish they were red. Look at that. Uh 
What are these? These look like candies. Oh, I'm opening them the wrong way. There's a blue one. No, I don't like that either. Okay. But it needs something. I don't know. I know y'all are hollering at me in the phone. And I wish I could hear you. don't mind this as much I don't know maybe I should just put that down and make it a little bit flatter I am going to hot glue this down right here just a little bit to keep it from covering up the F and family and then I am going to just put that down to keep it from coming up and then I'm trying to unravel it more to see if that doesn't help. Needs to go down. It's quite hot. like everything except it feels like it needs something in the the center okay i'll be back okay i am back i have taken the bow off i just didn't like it 
and I have decided, and that's going to be a little wet. Let me dry that. I did go ahead, and these are little pieces that I made. I, I don't know when. Oh, let me, you can't even see those. Those right there, those are little pieces that I made uh, quite a while ago with the 10 Minute Pure uh, Let's Resin Polyurethane Resin. And, uh, ooh, that's hot. Uh, and I did them all in white. And I didn't put color on them. And then I just got through just putting a, 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 a light coat of color with Waverly chalk paint on these. And I didn't show you, because y'all have seen me paint so many times on my videos. Uh, I didn't uh, think it was worth the time to keep you here. And I'm going to use the E6000 glue. Now, it takes longer to dry, but that's okay. I'll leave it flat because it's a more permanent bond than uh, hot glue, I think. Now, some people may not agree with me, but I do. I think it's a better bond. That's what I should have done with the first piece, but that's okay. And I don't mind the glue getting between. I can clean that up in just a minute. That's a little bird that's and to me this looks better than a bow. Now it's just my personal preference. You can put a bow on here if you'd rather have a bow. I cannot pick it up and stand it straight up right now because I do want that to dry. It will dry very firmly. I'm making sure that there is no excess glue leaking out. I don't think so. Okay, I will show you. Now this right here, you see the little bitty glue down in there? I will take some brown, just a little touch of brown wax when this dries and stick it in there. But I like that better than the bow. Now that's just, you know, me. You want to put a bow on there? Put a bow on there. Do your thing. But I am very, very happy with both pieces. And they're heavy. And they're durable. And they would go anywhere in your home. And they would make an awesome gift. And are they perfect? No. You will never find anything perfect on my channel. Uh... I spent many, many wasteful years striving per for perfection, uh, and and I just don't do that anymore, because <laughs> I personally don't think that's possible here on this earth, one day maybe, um, but let me know what you think in the comments, y'all know that I love reading your comments, if you're inter interested in uh, getting these these will be on the Etsy store uh, hopefully by tomorrow
I will wait and make sure that that dries really good and secure before I do that. Uh, and thank you so much for joining me. And I know I forgot to introduce myself, but it's... Uh, my name's Beth. And I'm so glad that you're here if you're new. And of course, uh, for all of y'all that have been here uh, so many other times before, thank you so much. I have the best group of YouTubers, I believe. Yes, I honestly do believe that. I have been blessed, and it is because of you. So a big shout out to each and every one of you who watch my channel. Thank you very, very much. I am going to ask you to do the thumbs up for me. Uh, hit that like button. And if you've not subscribed, I would love for you to do so. I know it's the time of year, uh, and I do know that I have so much going on. And most of y'all know the situation I'm in. Um, uh, I have a really good friend of mine that is staying with me, and she is fighting uh, stage 4 advanced cancer. And I feel very blessed uh, to be able to have her here. Uh, but my days are not my own right now, and, and I come down here when I can to do videos, and my videos have, you know, that I don't put out as many, and that is why, and, and you know, it is what it is. Um, I am so, so thankful that uh, I've known her for 52 years. She is like a sister to me, and uh, I, I'm just so grateful that uh, she is able to be here with us. Um, but because of that, and, and uh, I understand, my, my views have started dropping. My subscribers have stopped, have started dropping. And, you know, if that's the way it's supposed to be, then that I'm okay with that. But um, if you uh, haven't subscribed and would like to do so, uh, it would be fantastic. And, and I would so appreciate it. And also, uh, viewing, um, I know sometimes my videos are long, uh, but if you'll just let it run through, uh, I'll, that YouTube will put me up in the, the algorithm a lot quicker if you'll just let it run, uh, the full length. Um, there is a certain way, and, and I don't remember what it is, um, Google AdSense is the ones that actually uh, uh, pay all YouTubers, and it's depending on how many ads that everybody's watching. We pay a monthly fee not to have ads on YouTube. Dan, my husband, hates ads. Um, he, he does not like commercials at all. And uh, speaking of which, his ears were burning, and now he's calling me. Oh, uh, that is so funny. Uh... Hey, honey, I'm doing a video. Can, can I call you right back? All right, love you. Bye-bye. Um, <laughs> he he does not like commercials. That was odd, wasn't it? He does not like commercials, and so we pay uh, a monthly fee and not to have any ads um, when we watch YouTube because we watch a lot of movies and TV shows on YouTube, too. Um, but somehow, and, and I'm going to say this wrong so I probably shouldn't say it at all but something like if if you turn anybody's video on and you watch it for at least 30 is it 30 seconds or a full minute then it's counted as a view and then if you watch through I think the the first ad and then you make it up to the second uh Oh, and there's a certain name for it. And, and I'm just, I'm not good at all this stuff. I'm not a, a technical person at all. But if you, if you make it through the second, I think it's called a middle ad. I'm not sure. But if you watch it long enough to do that, then that's when um, they start paying you for the ads. Um, and most of y'all are doing that, and, and I do know that because uh, my analytics tell me that, and I just want to say a big thank you for that. Um, for all y'all that are new, uh, 
you can fast forward um, that really doesn't uh, hurt uh, youtubers at all but if you fast forward it just finish out the whole video that is a major help um, and there's a lot of fast forward parts you know uh, that's the reason why I stopped and started stopped and started today I didn't edit and I will never edit uh, my videos uh, you, you see it as it really is and I don't take anything out, and I don't add anything to it. Um, but I am going to try to do the uh, the long pauses and stuff. I'm going to try to start, you know, stopping and, and coming back, and uh, so y'all don't have to sit through that. But again, I want to say thank you so much. Um, I've enjoyed doing the video, and um, let me know what you think. I love this stuff. Uh, I, I love the stencils. I love the silhouette too, but you can get the same, you know, with silhouette, you can create whatever you want to create with this. You're, you know, it's up to the stencil. Um, but I do, I, I love both pieces. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you don't have an opinion, just say, hey, uh, let me know where you're from. Let me know how long you've been watching me. I would love to know that uh, from all of y'all. So thanks again. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.